All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays back from our Dragon Balls Universe 2. So today, guys, we're coming back at it again with a custom animated transformation mod. My guys, my dudes, this is a dual pack for this entire showcase. I'm excited for these two characters because yesterday there was a lot of misconception with the transformations that were going down for the winter clothing Goku and Vegeta. I pretty much explained everything in that video and I elaborated a lot in the comment section, so be sure to check that out to understand what the transformation is going to be like. They are custom character, like, variations in a way, like, custom presets as mentors and, uh, you know, just like the skills that you can equip for them will allow the transformation. So, we're gonna go and showcase these characters today. Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta with the Whis clothing on and the Whis armor. Very cool concept for this transformation because what we have is a custom animation that goes into Super Saiyan Blue Shinka or Evolution, dude. Big shout out to Azura for creating this. He did such an amazing job and I thought this would be the perfect time to show it because I know you guys are all hyped about, you know, Gogeta Blue and all the blue. Everything's blue now, so we're going back to blue. It made a resurgence, so I thought, all right, let's do it. So again, go check out Azura. He did such an amazing job on this mod. He is coming through with a lot more of these custom animated mods and transformations, and I love the concepts, the ideas behind them, and all the hard work that he puts into it. So smash that like button if you guys are very excited for this episode. Let's try to reach 15 likes on this video. That would be so truly amazing, and I would truly appreciate it. Plus, it shows that you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 content on this channel, as well as a continuation of the mod series just dope stuff like this so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and ring that notification bell to get the instant notification when a new video goes live so we're gonna go and check out the move set now the move set i changed up a little bit uh soaring fist burst kamehameha kamehameha shot surging spirit warp kamehameha ascended super kamehameha spirit explosion and the super saiyan blue evolution aka shinka i don't even know am i pronouncing that right i have no idea so it's a bit of a long story so for this i actually added on soaring fist kamehameha shot and i think ascended super kamehameha those respectively have their own little moves that are not really the crazy ones like Soaring Fist. I just customize it myself for fun. But you guys can check out the Patreon page for Azura where you can download it for yourself. And for Vegeta, we have the Gallic Gun two-handed Big Bang Attack, which I added on. We also have Wild Hunt, Surging Spear, Ascended Final Flash, and Super Big Bang Attack, which are the two ultimate skills that I added on. We also have the Spread Shot Retreat and Super Saiyan Blue Shinka. So we're going to go ahead and try out Goku first because I have not seen a really decent polished super saiyan blue evolution version of goku they might change the hair but it's not like a buffed up version like you would think so that's the thing about super saiyan blue evolution is more of those have like a traditional buffed up physique and the aura is a lot more vibrant and blue and the hair is a lot darker so i'm not sure if this one actually covers that too much but i know for a fact the animation is going to be just worth it so we're gonna try this out in the future in ruins i just felt like going to the stage but yeah it's really nice to see uh these two characters in their respective costumes again from resurrection f hopefully uh one day we'll get the transformations down but look at that okay so i don't know if it's the aura it just like glows and dissipates and comes back or something i don't know what that was but in the very beginning there it was like glowing oh crap okay so it's coming back this is a little bit weird. I'm not sure uh, what's going on. Do you see that? Okay, so I guess whenever you burst dash, it comes back. But whenever I restart it, that was weird. Okay, so it, like, disappears. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if this is, like, a glitch on my part or something. But it's, like... <laughs> Did you see that? That was actually... Okay, that was actually pretty sick. I wonder if it'll do it again. Okay, yeah, this is weird. I'm not sure if it's, like, glitched out or not. I have not tested this mod out on my, uh, just, like, recording yet. Or just even this is like my first reaction to it so it looks like some parts whenever you restart are glowing and some parts are not that might be a little bit of a glitch but whenever you do burst dash it does come back and uh retain it's sort of like you know glow and everything but yeah vegeta seems to have one as well his seems to be a lot smaller again it could be that same sort of situation moveset wise it's pretty much just going to be goku nothing too different there but yeah this is weird how uh the aura i'm not sure if this was intentional or not if the ore is supposed to like glow and dissipate and get smaller and bigger and change pretty much sizes and stuff. I don't know, dude, but this is still really cool. I like the aura on it. It's going for this burst Kamehameha. Try out the Soul Ring Fist. Hopefully, this is the good Soaring Fist. There we go. Sometimes uh, I'll install the one that's all screwed up and it only does like one fist 
like one little shockwave and i'm not a fan of the one shockwave bro yeah this is uh this is a little bit weird i'm not sure what's going on here i installed everything properly so i don't know if it is something on my end or not but it, yeah it, it's kind of cool i like the effect of it it disappears and then it'll like it'll come back like and just like fire up and burn like look at that dude that's kind of cool i'm not gonna lie so the charge up of it it does have a nice new like aura going on as you can see whenever i'm charging up look at that that looks really cool man that actually looks super dope so let's go for this um burst kamehameha we did the soaring fist the uh kamehameha shot which one was this one this one was the yeah that was the giant like big bang kind of shot looking thing that thing is cool all right let's try out warp kamehameha kamehameha <laughs> dude let's go dude all right you guys ready it is time for super saiyan blue shinka so let me let me just get down over here we, we got to go on the ground for this because this is what's gonna shake the world are y'all ready here we go oh crap here we go yo <laughs> that is sick bro oh my goodness oh my goodness what <laughs> that is so sick bro i'm i'm speechless hold on we gotta see that again that is beautiful it charges up closes in you can see the hair glow just a bit for a second and then that new texture that lighting look at that that is super saiyan blue evolution for goku man beautiful absolute beauty that is so sick all right you guys ready ascended kamehameha <laughs> dude that is so dope wait change moveset it is bro yo <laughs> let's go dude oh my god did you see that sidestep he did okay that's that's something different that is something different this is exactly what i've wanted from a custom mod azura azura knows he's been reading my mind brother look at that transforming mods the new animations and just absolutely beautiful differences in the moveset that is so sick oh my goodness i absolutely love it i love it oh 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 boom 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 oh yeah let's go <laughs> that is just beautiful that's magnificent delicious oh get him from behind dude that's all i'm saying man you can't beat mods man developers of dragon ball z universe 2 dimps y'all are great and all but man you guys can't beat the modders look at the creativity look at the freedom the freedom the free flowing like let's go dude let's go <laughs> that is phenomenal that is absolutely phenomenal charge it up boys that is nice man that is just truly amazing so we gotta try out vegeta now who's ready it's your turn to lose this is shinka blue <laughs> dude this is so sick all right let me hear that audio you gotta say vegeta i get goosebumps every time we fight beautiful absolutely beautiful so again uh aura is still kind of weird i'm not sure what's going on with it but it's still really cool i guess it is good in a way because you know sometimes the aura gets a little bit too crazy and it can get distracting so it going back and out and in and out and all that stuff oh in out the, the old in out in out who's in out with me dude let's go <laughs> i'm not really a big fan of in and out burger man i don't care what anyone says okay we have it where i live now but i mean it's just it's just not something that i'm into you know it's just not it's just not my cup of tea <laughs> Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. But moveset-wise, we got the normal Vegeta going on. Got a gun attack. Beautiful stuff. Looking amazing. God, I love Xenoverse. Like, man, modders, they just... They make me truly appreciate this game so much more. Like, I'm telling you, after seeing what was going down yesterday with, like, the reactions on how the Super Saiyan Blue would be a transformation, potentially, even though, you know, to confirm, it's not right now. I mean, not 100% confirmation, but from what we know in the past with how these custom presets for mentors go for these clothing costumes and everything, it's probably not going to be the case. I think for the Journey to the West Goku, you were able to transform into a Super Saiyan, but I don't think the hair changed. I don't think anything really changed that was too major. So we'll see how they do it. Rhymestall did say that there would be transformation. So again, this is just an update on it. I'm trying to clarify some things for anybody that did watch the video that is watching this video now. Don't expect God forms. If we do get God forms, I will be very, very surprised. And hey, everyone wins in that situation. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's try out this wild hunt attack right here. Oh, let me go. Oh, 
Let's get up there. Ooh, that is beautiful. Damn it, Goku. <laughs> Damn it. All right, guys. Super. Big bang. Attack. That is nice. Ascended final flash. Look at that, dude. It's like this nice red color. I love it. I love it. All right, you guys ready? Let's see Vegeta style. Ooh, he got the same animation. Let's go, dude. Oh, my God. I actually love that. And then this, that's the best part. When the rocks burst out, dude. Like, come on, man. You cannot sit there and tell me that this isn't one of the sickest freaking mods of all time, bro. All right, move set change here. Let's go. Oh, that is beautiful. Ooh, ooh. So, yeah, it looks like that they have, like, a mixture of the Super Saiyan Blue move set with some, like, different little, like, stutters and, like, stops in between to emphasize the power of it. If I'm not mistaken, that's what's going on. So, I can break that stamina. Did you see Goku's face? Ooh. Mm -mm. So, this is just a normal square combo. He goes in for some chops, instant transmission several times around, and then we also have this variation right here, which I think is the strong hit. Go for that strong hit. Yeah, the strong hit doesn't last too long. Vegeta's strong hit is usually pretty quick. Just like a couple of hits. Boom. That is so beautiful. All right, guys. Let's finish this off with the grab. You ready for it? One, two, three, four, five. Let's go, dude. So there you have it. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Shinka style for Vegeta and Goku. Let's go into that versus mode. And try this out. All right, my friends. So the Shinka Blue style is coming through as a team up. Let's go ahead and do this, and let's actually find... I'm trying to find another maybe Goku and Vegeta variation that isn't as, like, super OP. Because, again, you know, the OP mods, they get ridiculous, and it just becomes super unfair. But that's all good in the hood. Let's go ahead and try out, I guess, Xeno Vegeta Super Saiyan 4. Do I have a Xeno Goku Super Saiyan 4 right now? I, I feel like I should have him. There we go. I think this would be a cool little showcase. The Blues versus the Fours. How about that? The Blues versus the Fours. Let's get it. And let's go to, how about, Hyperbolic Time Chamber. It's been a while since I've been here. I, you know, always love going to this stage in the past. And I remember the first time I went to this stage on the Xenoverse 2 beta, and I heard the music. Dun, 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 dun. Like, you know, that, like, really nice, like, beautiful, calming music. It's like the calming before the storm because Broly's coming, guys. <laughs> but, uh, man, I'm just really excited for this Broly movie to come through. Uh, make sure you guys go and pre-order those tickets, like, ASAP because... Or not really pre-order, but pre-purchase them. Can't really pre-order tickets, I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ooh, ooh, they got combos, bro. They got freaking combos, and they're doing big damage. But, uh, yeah, that's just kind of uh, something that you should probably do as soon as possible. It's only, it's just, like, very imperative that you do. Because if you want to see this movie, you can make sure you get good seats. I went ahead and already got my ticket for Wednesday. I'm going to try and see if I can see it a second time. Pre-order them for uh, the weekend as well with my brother because my brother is really into dragon ball as well which is awesome like let me know in the comment section if your siblings are also into the same stuff that you are i feel like i'm extremely lucky and blessed to have a brother that is like really really hardcore into the same stuff like we both love video games we both love anime uh i probably say i like anime a lot more than he does while he likes probably uh video games a lot more than i do not saying that i don't really care for video games i love video games but he's He's got more of like a widened uh, spectrum when it comes to games. Like he'll, he loves playing Fallout, he loves playing League of Legends, Overwatch. For me, I was never really a big fan of uh, those games too much. And, you know, for good reason, just because uh, I was just never really into like a whole bunch of multiplayer games other than Smash. But both of us love Smash to death. That's probably our favorite multiplayer game. Uh, next to that would probably be Mario Party. Who else loves Mario Party? Ascendant Kamehameha! And he's going to break that stamina. I knew it. <laughs> but um, for me, I'm the same way. But with anime, I'm actually uh, more widened in my spectrum. I've seen a lot more anime than he has. Like, I've seen, like, Bleach, Death Note. I think the only thing he's seen other than Dragon Ball and Naruto. He's seen a little bit of Naruto. I don't think he watched the whole series. But I think he did see a little bit of Bleach. Which, he actually got me into Bleach uh, before anyone else did. So that's pretty cool that, you know, I was able to get into that. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, guys. They're actually going in hard against me. It's it's a little bit much. It's, it's just too much for me right now. Oh, God. First Kamehameha, unless I can pull something crazy off. But Vegeta just keeps coming through, and he keeps doing big damage to me, man. Oh, Lord. Dude, I can't do anything. I'm out of stamina. I'm so dead. Dude, how did Super Saiyan 4 beat Super Saiyan Blue? I mean, I, I guess that makes sense because in... 
uh, what's it called? The uh, Dragon Ball Heroes manga, or not manga, but the anime. No, 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 it was the manga. It was the manga, and they did show uh, that it was more powerful in uh, the anime as well. But yeah, I feel like I just don't do a lot of damage, not as much as I would, you know, hope for. And Vegeta probably has just a crap ton of HP. Let me at least try and kill... Can I kill at least this version? Come on, man. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. I have to really pull something out of my butt, man. Oh, Lord. Come on. Did he for a big block that? That is so dumb. That is so dumb. Wow, I'm surprised. Super Saiyan 4 really is the better the, the better transformation. It, it shows it right there. Now, I think it was just the stats were a little bit uh, different. Those Super Saiyan 4 variations were a lot crazier. So, let's go and do another team up. I'm not ending off with a freaking loss, you know. We're just gonna we're just gonna finish this up proper this time. Are y'all ready? <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it. Where is a blue one? There's a blue one, right? Yeah. Kai Kai Wear Kai Warrior Man Kai Warrior Man. <laughs> All right, I just want to fight some blue characters. Let's get a Cell Junior on here, dude. So we're gonna finish this off proper, like I said. <laughs> this is all for shits and giggles. But y'all, let me know in the comment section uh, what you think is better: Super Saiyan Four, or Super Saiyan Blue. If only the AI wasn't so ridiculous. Plus, the AI on my team is obviously gonna be crap. You guys know how it works with the versus mode. It's very, very hard to make a comeback or win one v two. So that's just what goes down. But let me get this man right here. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Here we go. Cell Junior. Sometimes, sometimes Cell Junior and the Cyberman are actually kind of cool like they actually do some big damage like i'm not gonna lie it's, it's a little bit ridiculous like you see this yeah see surprisingly enough i really don't do a lot of damage to these guys like these guys should have been dead a while back <laughs> like come on man there we go that's that's some better damage let's get it let's get it oh i tried to go for the transformation at the very end but there you have it man i just wanted to finish off with a win because you know i can <laughs> i can if i want but only if it's like super easy characters like that but we're all having fun here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I want to say a big massive shout out again to Azura. Dude, you're extremely talented. You're an amazing person. You're super nice for allowing me to showcase this for all the good homies in the Slow Plays crew. So thank you all so much. Be sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out Azura and support him on Patreon if you haven't already. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace out, take care, and enjoy the rest of your day, my good homies.